Welcome my friends of the interwebs. Got a few things to do today. A couple of things that are important. Uh, please hang out towards the end of this video. <laughs> I'd say towards the end. Try to hang out to the end. Um, okay, got a few things in the mail I need to open up real quick. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me about t-shirts. How do I get a t-shirt? How do I get a t-shirt? This dude here has figured it out. Um, pretty easy. Sent me 20 bucks. Says, hey man, bad voodoo. I am sending you $20 for a t-shirt. Large. I am medium build. Also, uh, teal green or royal blue sometime. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Um, I think my next t-shirts are going to be black. I haven't decided yet. Probably come out somewhere around the holidays. Okay, keep up the good work. Uh, R-Y-A-N-G-O-O-D-38. Ryan Good 38. Okay, so he paid me for a t-shirt. I've already uh, I've already taken the liberty to uh, put his address on the other side of this. Fold this bad boy up. By the way, I do a really, really crappy job of folding these t-shirts, but I'll tell you who does a really great job. I don't believe it's him for a second. I'm almost positive it's his wife, <laughs> Pete from the Armory Channel. When I got his t-shirt, it was immaculate, crisp, perfect. I'm not so much like that. I just kind of shove the stuff together. Uh, but you will, you know, your t-shirt will arrive. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that is how easy it is to get one of my t-shirts. However, I will say that you probably ought to contact me and let me uh, question me about the availability of... I've only got larges and two X's right now. I think i got a couple of smalls, but I'm not positive about that. Um, so you might want to contact me and reserve one. Let me know you're actually uh, mailing me the money. You can mail a... Um, and this will go out, by the way, this will go out in the mail tomorrow. Uh, you can mail me a uh, check if you want. Um, it just take me a little time to let it uh, clear or, or send me the green. Okay. I'm going to clean some guns. You know, i got another little just bit of business. A little bit of business to take care of. Um, oh, and then i got something real important to say, so hang tight. So, this is from Firearm Pop, one of my favorite YouTubers. He's got a really great series right now called War Stories. And I'm going to pat myself on the back because... I kind of talked him into doing those, um, and they're really, they're really awesome. Uh, he's a Vietnam veteran, and uh, he talks to me. He tells the story from the very, very beginning of uh, his uh, enlistment into the uh, Navy. Definitely worth checking out. Okay, hey buddy, I sat, uh, I sat here wondering how best to promote my new product, and you came to mind. Enclosed is my SDK 100 self defense keychain. If you search on YouTube, Firearm Pop SDK 100, you will see my uh, announcement video and how to use it. Uh, if you could at least mention it or demo it, I would really appreciate it. As you are aware, times are tough these days, and I am no in, I am no different. I come uh, excuse me. I came up with this idea, and I am hoping to supplement my income a little. I appreciate anything you can do, and if you uh, don't, that's okay. Enjoy the keychain, your friend, Vinny Fire Pop. And as you all know, I am a huge fan of supporting the little guy, and definitely a huge fan of people trying to make a buck. Um, this is a self-defense keychain. Okay, I see. I got it. Okay. You got the paracord. Okay, I love this. Warning, improper use may cause injury. Always use eye protection when practicing. You know, the sad thing is we live in a society where it's necessary to put that on there, you know. But it's made of 550 paracord, um, hey, handmade to USA by a veteran. you got to love that. Suggested retail, 1995. All right, I'll, I'd have to look at this video to see exactly how to use it. This looks like maybe this could be a Kublaton type of thing, I think. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So anyway... Uh, check out Firearms Pop uh, channel. I will uh, leave a link to him. If you don't subscribe to him, subscribe. He's really super, super nice guy. Really great guy. And like I said, Vietnam vet. Just an awesome, awesome guy. Thank you, Pop, for the, the keychain. God knows I could use a little stuff to fit. <laughs> you know. Um, oh, I'm going to clean this gun. Uh, listen, uh, you all have until the 31st. The 31st is the last day, all the way up till midnight. Uh, the last day to get in your video responses for my contest, so please do that um, as soon as you can. Uh, I've got, I think I'm up to 43 video responses. You know, I've got some awesome, awesome prizes, and uh, yeah, um, definitely, definitely get on that for sure. 
Um, but uh, I just wanted to give you the heads up. And for those of you, and I get so many people asking me, how do you post a video response? Because the deal is you have to make a video and you have to, you have to post it as a video reply to my Real Life 31 video. And um, it's, you know, look, don't, don't blame yourself for not trying to be able to figure this out because YouTube's got it all screwed up. In the old days, it was so much easier to figure out. But if you click in the dialog box like you were going to leave a comment, you click in that box and look to the right, and you will see the link that will allow you to do the video stuff. Um, so just click that, and once you click that, then it's all pretty much self-explanatory. You either make a video or you uh, choose one that you've already made. And you select that, and it'll, it'll do its thing. It's pretty easy stuff. But anyway, you've all seen me clean a Glock. Well, you know what? I'm going to actually make this another video. i got some other stuff I'm going to talk about, so it'll be another video of me cleaning this. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about my wolf barrel that I actually got to shoot last weekend and uh, an old friend an old friend that uh, that I took to the range with me this is the um, first uh, 1911 I ever bought in my life I bet you I was maybe early to mid 20s somewhere around in there and I'm 44 now so this bad boy has been with me for a very very long time it's a pair of ordnance P14 it is a very nice gun one of my favorite 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 things that Canadians make <laughs> it's a Canadian gun all right, everybody, that's it. I will talk to you all later. See ya.